everybody. Welcome to the Optimum and Fractal ninth meeting. I hope that you're all doing great. Thank you for joining us. We're with a bunch of enthusiastic optimists here. Hakan, thanks for the applause. Also with Rosemarie and Bitbeckers and Seth and Delara and Zal and Weston. Several new people joining Optimum and Fractal. So thanks everybody who has been joining for a while now. And thanks everybody uh, for joining for the first time. I hope that everybody has a wonderful time and I hope that everybody out there watching is having a great time too. I see Bitbeckers saying, haha, it already feels like home. Great to hear, great to see. I'm gonna jump into a quick presentation here uh, and share a little introduction to Optimum Fractal and show some of our recent progress as well as what we're gonna be doing for the next 45 minutes, which is the respect game. Thanks also for the hearts too. Uh, and yeah, we'll jump in and then we'll get to the games, the public goods games and optimism. So, OptimumFractal.com is a website where you can learn about Optimum Fractal. You can check out media and videos from each week, as well as details and contact and so forth. You can scroll down a little bit to learn about Optimism Fractal. It's a community dedicated to fostering collaboration and awarding public goods creators in the Optimism Collective. And we're growing optimism with communities, events, consensus games of videos and tools. It's a place where you can meet optimists, meet innovators and builders and creators in the Optimism ecosystem and also earn respect. We play each each week, we play a really helpful consensus game called the Respect Game, where participants share what they've done to help optimism, and then they each collaborate to rank each other's contributions. And then everybody who reaches consensus earns a soulbound token called Respect that has some mystical powers. And it's also a great place to promote your work too. We record these videos every week and we share them, we publish on social media. So everybody gets a chance to speak and share what they're up to. And then you can use that to help share what you're doing to help optimism and um, help share what you're doing in general and uh yeah basically we're working to help grow the optimism collective we have a little link here to the optimism uh vision about fostering public goods and so forth and we're also building tools too so we use a tool set called the op fractal stack that we use that we are playing our consensus game the respect game every week with the op mainnet and i'll share a bit more details about that and of course you can just explore the website to learn more and you can register for events we have these every wednesday uh, every monday at 17 utc uh although this is the end of the year this is actually our last optimism fractal meeting of the year so the next two Wednesdays, um, Mondays coming up are on Christmas and New Year's. So we're going to be taking a two week break from Optimum and Fractal. Uh, everybody's so welcome to join and talk in the Discord and so forth. But we're going to be joining back for Optimum and Fractal events once again on June 8th. Or not, I'm saying the wrong thing several times here. On January 8th, uh, on Monday, January 8th. And we'll get to that. Um, but yeah, we invite you to join your friends and we love to meet new people here. And it's a great place to introduce people to Optimism. So I encourage you to check it out at lou.moss.optimumfractal and check out our upcoming events coming in 2024 and then you can also check out all of our recent videos on optimismfractal.com slash media uh, we also have a youtube channel for optimistics where you can learn about the regen games and public goods games and retro pitches and all sorts of other games we've been doing we've done nine meetings so far in this year and each one of these are published along with show notes for each of them too where you can find timestamps and so forth to learn more about all the cool stuff we're doing and these are on, all on optimistics.io slash videos too optimistics is the team that is creating the optimism fractal events and hosting these and so forth it's myself rosemary and two great developers named vlad and adas so you can check out all those to watch uh, you can also check out our gov forum posts every week um, on gov.optimism.io to learn more and you can see um the, for example we've been getting some really great feedback too so we really appreciate that everybody's been enjoying the event so far and we're we're really excited for all the great things we'll do in 2024 as well as this meeting here we'll have a conversation after respect game two to kind of close it out and once again like i said our next meeting will be coming up on um january 8th uh, afterwards if anybody's not familiar with optimism you can check out optimism.io it is a low cost and lightning fast ethereum l2 blockchain that's powered by optimism uh it's there's so many amazing things going on in the optimism collective and i encourage anybody to check it out if you haven't yet learned about it as well as the optimism collective which is a new type of community designed to reward public goods and build a sustainable future for optimism you can check out more at optimism.io as i just said and also optimistics.io we have a blog with lots of introductory articles about optimism as well as optimism fractal so you can check it out and there's also some great videos too that uh, provide an introduction to optimism so that's basically it for the introductory presentation uh i suppose the one last thing that i'll share here is well what we're going to be doing for the next 45 minutes it is the respect game so the respect game is a game that we play every week um at optimism fractal and any community can play this to uh, foster collaborations and raise awareness for public goods creators and fairly reward impact we have some tutorial videos here where you can learn more about how it works at optimistics.io slash respect game but basically what we're going to be doing is we're going to be going into randomized groups of three to six people uh 
um, I think there's nine of us here, eight of us here. So we're going to go on four or five people per group. And then uh, basically each person is going to get four minutes to introduce themselves and share what they've been doing to help optimism. So you can share if you've been uh, promoting optimism fractal, or if you're just joining for the first time, or if you're just learning about it, or if you're building software or creating content or whatever, you can share what you've been doing uh, for four minutes. And then after everybody goes, then everybody's going to work together to reach consensus about who did the most help optimism who did the second most to help optimism and who did the third most to help optimism in the past week and so forth. And the trick is or the challenge is that the group has to reach two thirds consensus to uh, determine who in the order of rankings. And then if the group is able to reach two thirds consensus on everybody's rankings by the end of the hour in 45 minutes, then uh, everybody will get the respect token, which is the non-transferable respect token. You can learn more about it here. Um, and there's benefits and all sorts of stuff like that. And if you're if that's a lot of new information and you're new here, then feel free to ask people in your group how to play. There's several people here who have played many games, so they can guide you through it. But basically, you'll get four minutes to share your work and then work to reach consensus in an app called Fra uh, Fractalgram, which is a Telegram app. Uh, and then you'll also use your Optimism account, and that's where you receive the Optimism Fractal Respect token as well. Um, for anybody who's interested, we also have open source tools, too, that you can use to empower your community of these games, and we can go more into detail about that later, or Optimism.io slash tools. So that's basically it. We're starting a little bit late, so we'll go, uh, I guess, like a minute past the top of the hour for the Respect game, um, and then we'll come back in the community room, and then we can discuss um, how everybody's going and discuss more about the future of Optimism Fractal after that. All right. Well, thank you, everybody, for listening and being here once again. And I'll start at the breakout rooms and hope that everybody has an amazing time. Thanks, Dan. You're welcome, Hatha. Thank you. Hey, Weston and Delara. Hi. And Sal. So hope you're all doing well. If anything didn't make sense in that presentation, or if there's any questions you have about Optimus and Fractal in general, um, that you'd like to ask then feel free to go ahead i see thumbs up um, are. cool yeah i was gonna say wow that was a lot i w hope i um don't let you guys down um <laughs> didn't know what i was um uh, uh, signing up for but i'll do my best okay cool no problem and um, so apologies if i overwhelmed too sometimes i have a habit to share a little bit too much information or something so um but i know <laughs> it's great i just okay. was trying to type in the like um could you like link the or send a link to one of those um i was t spelling it wrong while you were saying it so i couldn't get it in the browser like optimistics um yeah uh, i think I, I i must have been spelling it wrong anyways sure. but uh, yeah yep sure thank great. Yeah, well, thank you very much, and uh, uh, and no problem at all, no pressure. If there's some parts that you forget or anything like that, we're, I'm glad that you're here. I'm very much looking forward to uh, um, learning more about your work, and I think you'll have a great time. Uh, I just shared a link. It's also it might be confusing because optimistics is spelled with a Y as opposed to an I, so that might have caused a bit of confusion there. But I just shared a link to optimistics.io/respectgame, which has if you scroll down a little bit, there's like a little tutorial about how to play. There's the video, but if you just scroll down uh, a little bit more, then it explains basically what I was explaining about how the game works. Um, and then if there's any other links uh, you want me to share, then I'm happy to share those as well. I see Zal also right. Hello, everyone. Probably a bit quiet until your turn as you're still at work. Sounds good, Zal. Thanks for being here. I was checking out uh, your agency. I think agency Z Talent a little bit on Twitter and it looked really cool. So looking forward to hearing more about uh, what you've been working on when it's your turn to go. If anybody has any other uh, questions or comments before we get into um, sharing what we've been doing, then feel free. If not, we can also get started and people can start uh, taking their four minutes and sharing what they've been doing to help optimism. And if anyone wants to volunteer to go first, then feel free. I see Zal said, thank you so much. Excited to share. And you're very welcome, of course. That sounds great. Um, maybe one quick question, if it's all right, uh, just uh for a little more background context um so this is is this something new like new um or have you been doing it for quite some time i i guess I, i'm surprised that i haven't heard of this yeah well thanks for asking so it is uh new in a way uh yeah so optimism fractal started we had the first meeting in october on october 19th so we've been doing it now for about three months um and we've been doing it oh, every week super since new. then yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. So it it's not new in the sense that we've also been um, it, uh, the the team that started Optimism Fractal has been 
um, experimenting with this and doing this process and doing this game for about two years or so, or I guess maybe two and a half years in some ways. And we have other, what we call fractal communities, like this one called Eden Fractal. We've done about 80 meetings or something now and several other ones, uh, but Optimum Fractal, we've been doing with Optimum Community. Yeah, it started back in October, so it is pretty new. Okay, awesome. Cool, and if you did have any other questions, Weston, then uh, feel free to ask. We only have the four of us here and we'll each just take four minutes. So um, if there's anything else you're curious about before we get started, then you can feel free to ask. If not, we can get started with uh, each of us sharing a little introduction um, and, and same goes for you, Delara, too, if you have any questions or comments before we jump into it. I saw you give a thumbs up already though, so that's good. And I'm ready to move on whenever we're ready to. Yeah, I kind of understand the game, but uh, I wanted to ask uh, that are those communities are separated or uh, they're just uh, founded by uh, different people or just it's inside the optimistics that you send the uh, website? Um, I, I don't know if I totally understood the last thing you said, if it's within the optimistics that you sent the website. Um, but I, if you want to clarify them, feel free. But I think I understood your question mostly, though. So, uh, yeah, I sure. Think... I can, uh, like, I didn't understand what is optimistic because you are optimism fractal and as a community, but is it uh, inside of the optimistic uh, community or just another thing? Because I'm, I'm seeing that there is a retro pitches Eden fractal uh i don't understand why are those communities are having uh different types of meeting dates and uh another things like this i wanted to ask that okay cool thanks for asking yeah so basically um Optimum Fractal is the name of the community, and uh, the community has this weekly event that we meet on Mondays, um, and that's where we are right now. The Optimistics is the name of the team that started Optimum Fractal, uh, and we also started up other Fractal communities, other events. What you mentioned Retro Pitches, we actually had that. It's another kind of game that we played at Optimum Fractal events, uh, and then we also have the Eden Fractal events listed there. That We also have events that we do on Wednesdays. Um, and th those are ones we've been doing for a while, for the past uh, for the past over a year and a half now. Um, and there was there's myself and several other of our team members who started uh, the Eden Fractal as well and hosted and stuff like that. But Optimistic is the team that started it, and we started a couple of different Fractal communities. And Optimism Fractal is the one that we're at right now that's focused on growing the Optimism Collective. Okay, that's clear now. Thank you. Okay, you're very welcome. Thanks for asking. Welcome, Joe. Great to see you. Hope you're doing well. Thanks. You're welcome. And I suppose with that, um, we should probably get started and uh, share what we've been up to. If anybody had any other questions then uh, or comments, feel free to jump in as well. But uh, without further ado, if anyone would like to go first and introduce themselves and share a bit about what they've been doing up to, I'll put up a timer for so each person has four minutes each, um, then feel free to go ahead. Would anybody like to go first? And if not, then I'm also happy to go first to kind of lead the way to. Okay, I suppose maybe I'll go first being that we have uh, some new people here who haven't seen it yet. Uh, and Joe also just joined too. Joe, by the way, has a, he's a fractal community leader who's uh, started a fractal himself in another community and he's doing all sorts of cool stuff. So I'm excited to hear from Joe. Uh, but yeah, I suppose I'll go first and I'll put my timer up for four minutes for myself and then you can kind of get an idea. And mine, by the way, I've been doing this for a while uh, and I I usually share my screen um, and show people what I've been working on and I prepare it in advance. So you don't have to do it so prepared. Obviously, I know a lot of people here are just new and just checking out for the first time and a lot of people just come on and just talk for a couple minutes. Um, without getting a presentation and it's like pretty casual and simple and you can share whatever. It doesn't have to be anything special. Uh, but if you do want to share your screen while, while you go and introduce people to your work, or if you have a website or, you know, something that you've been sharing online, then you're welcome to share your screen as well as like I do. And so yeah, basically what I'll do here is I'll um, start my presentation. I'll speak for four minutes and share what I did for optimism over the past week. Um, and then I'll pass it on to the next person. And if anybody's ready to go next, then I'd appreciate that a lot so we can make sure that everybody has time to go. Um, 
basically, uh, I suppose just general introduction. So I'm, uh, I'm Dan Singjoy, I'm a uh, founder of Optimistics and also Ups and Fractal and a bunch of other stuff. Um, and I'm, I'm, I'm working with the Optimist team, as I said before, uh, to help lead this initiative Optimism, as well as just being really excited about Optimism in general. We've been working on Optimism for the past, I guess, five months or so now. And I'll share my screen. I'm happy to go into more detail about me in general, but I'll mostly focus on what I've been doing for the past week. So um, one of the main things I've been focusing on this week is Optimism Missions. So the uh, season five of Optimism just started over the past, um, well, it, it, it's just kind of embarking uh, and it was just announced over the past couple of months. And there's this new idea called Missions where anybody can make a proposal or rather only top 100 delegates make a proposal, but people can work with delegates to make a mission proposal uh, that can be achieved um, and can help fund different projects in the ecosystem and help work towards the intents of the Optimism Collective. So there's a whole lot here, but I'm sharing uh, the screen for the optimism mission request right now. And so I've been basically diving deep into all this literature and just learning how these applications work and so forth. Make some mission requests to uh, help out the optimism community. I've been also watching the video from the uh, Optimism Foundation, which explained how this works to get a better understanding. And then I've been working on a notion project that I've been working with the Optimism 16 about thinking about what kind of mission requests can we make to help optimism as much as, we, as, much as possible. And so for one thing, there's just kind of like um, a bunch of tasks here, like kind of just like coordinating with the team about learning how this works and explaining how it works. And then secondly, I have a bunch of draft proposal ideas here too. So I'm thinking about making a proposal about improving retro PGF review process, because I think that the respect system in Optimism Practical can help with that, as well as if other people can have great solutions too for impact evaluation and so forth, that would be really helpful for the collective. And then I'm also thinking about maybe making proposals about um, events where builders can organize um, or builders can network and collaborate and so forth. Some of the things that Optimism Practical can help achieve, but making it so anybody can help apply for for these with their own projects, or they can use the Optimism Practical tools to do so as well. So there's a bunch of other ideas. And I'm also working on ideas about maybe doing like a weekly show about Optimism too, or a podcast, something like that. Um, so that's one of the main things I'm working on. I've been collaborating a bit with um, the L2B team. They host office hours every Tuesday at 15 UTC that I've been joining for the past month with uh, Sinkas and Kristoff. And I recommend joining these. These are really helpful. Um, so I've been coordinating with them. You can see Sync has put out a post this week about asking people if they wanted to collaborate on um, mission request input, basically. So I've been working on collaborating with their team a bit and more so preparing those proposals. So I'll share them with them tomorrow uh, with their feedback and guidance. Also, I've been looking at the HATS protocol a lot, too. I shared this message in the Optimism Fractal Discord with uh, Nuno and Hotlan, and I watched the demo day. Hats Protocol is a protocol that allows, um, it's an on-chain protocol that allows communities to like automatically set roles and give different permissions and stuff like that. So I've been doing a lot of research on that, and I put a pretty detailed response to Hotlan and Nuno in the Discord chat. And then I've also worked on like different ways. I don't think I'm writing an article about different ways that Optimum Fractal can compose with the Hats Protocol to help communities out. Uh, so I shared some responses about that. And then I also followed up a little bit about how just respect token can compose with other applications too, in general, and that's all in the Optimism Practical Discord. I also uh, re responded, there was some great feedback from a guy named Mark uh, from Advantage Blockchain who enjoyed the last week's event. So he shared some feedback there and I helped to promote that as well as uh, Rosemary is a team member from Optimistics who got promoted. So I've been working with her to just help promote Optimism Fractal in general. And I joined a call from Public Goods Network, which is running an OP uh, mainnet or an, an OP stack chain. And I collaborated with some of their team members uh, and followed up with them in the chat afterwards. And um, I'm thinking about integrating with our tools or some art or something like that, just kind of exploring collaborations. And I spoke about um, a little bit of our work with about 12 people there. I also uh, coordinated a optimistic team call and I prepared like a little agenda here that we discussed I only like 15 seconds left. So I'll wrap it up now. But um, yeah, basically, I also put out this message to promote the last Optimism Factual event of the week. And then I watched some Optimism podcast with Justine and from the recent on-chain summit. Lastly, I also spoke about optimism and optimism fractal on a friend's podcast called Aquarius Academy, and I promoted We Heart the Art. And I also promoted optimism fractal at the Eden Fractal event as well. So that's it for the four minutes. I went a couple of seconds over, so apologies for that. Uh, but hope everybody enjoyed the presentation. And if anybody would like to go next, we can save any questions or comments for afterwards, unless you had a, just a quick question or comment, then feel free. But um, Weston or Space Ranger Joe or Sal or Delara, it's up to one of you now. So who would like to go next? And thanks, by the way, for the thumbs up and claps too, Weston. I appreciate it.
I'm happy to uh, to try. I don't think it'll be as polished as as yours, but uh, unless anyone else would like to. Sounds good. Go ahead, Wesson, and I'm looking forward to hearing what you're up to. Okay, perfect. Um, so right off the bat, I, I don't have anything um, like prepared, so I'll just do the best I can um, to kind of ad hoc describe everything. But uh, I think you mentioned try to focus on you know what you've been up to on optimism over the past week or so. Um, so my name is Weston Nelson. For anybody who um, has not met me, um, good to meet you all. Glad to be here. Um, I'm a big fan of the optimism collective in the division. Um, it's something actually that uh, I was drawn to like right out of the gate. Um, reading, I think the the first article that was published on Mirror, like, gosh, eighteen months ago now. Um, but I just remember uh, how much it resonated with me because my uh, own personal history is actually I, I came from TradFi. Um, I worked at you know like big big uh, fidelity investments for instance a lot of people recognize and um you know found the work really fun mentally challenging but uh wasn't the most fulfilling for me and then finding crypto um just kind of changed everything and so i actually become like a full-time web3 uh crypto native for for several years now and uh uh anyways that's my background as far as for what i've been working on um like the past year or so, I've been trying to build uh, an NFT protocol called NFT Earth on um, Optimism as well as other chains. And um, because I, I just think there's so much potential for non-fungible uh, applications and use cases on layer two networks for enabling access to people around the world, um, as well as just enabling so many more use cases because of the lower costs to transact. So, for instance, um, something that actually really uh, I was curious about with this like respect game, I, you know, I was thinking about the attestation, attestation station. Um, I still always struggle with saying that, but you know, a use case there would, I mean, actually, this seems like actually a a, a very tangible uh, potential use case there for a form of like reputation and on-chain credentialing, um, because that's always been a big interest of mine. Um, and what we're trying to do with with NFTs and, and non fungible technologies. So, um, let's see. Uh, try not to ramble here. Or let's see. To go go back on. I, I don't know if you could pull up like a screen by chance. I mean, you could show the the like our marketplace NFT Earth Exchange is 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 live on Optimism. Um, and actually, I think maybe I'll I'll kind of focus on this. The what I've been working on the most um, uh, is interoperability for layer twos and L2 chains. And so I've been like head down deep in research on because I feel like this is this is like the um, critical point where things are not buttoned up. And so I've been looking into, you know, like so I'm a, I'm a huge fan of layer zero contracts and how they've they've set up their architecture and. Anyways, I'm trying to figure out with like the OP chains, how they're going to be able to communicate um, messages, tokens, everything. And because um, we're trying to build an L2 NFT chain as a roll up, kind of, you know, like Lyra deployed their options chain. I believe that if people could actually trade NFTs like they wanted to on, um, say, Blur or OpenSea right now, but you could do so with a fraction of the cost that um, I think we could actually bring a lot of users to a layer two, such as optimism. Um, and the challenge before was the thinking was, hey, you just open it up lower cost, people will come. And that's, we found that is just simply not the case. Uh, collections will not migrate um, until like the lower cost is there and you can experience it. So that's what I'm working on is, is, is trying to sort the architecture for how contracts can work uh, cross chain seamlessly and uh, uh, actually think have got it figured out. So I'll stop right there on time. Uh, but uh, yeah, a lot of fun stuff. 
<clears throat> All right. Thanks so much, Wilson. Uh, no, I'm sorry. I just mentioned your name, Weston. Uh, thanks so much, Weston. Really appreciate it. And very, <laughs> just, uh, very interesting to learn about NFT Earth and, and all your work you're doing. So thank you. Cheers. And would you, uh, uh, there's lots of questions I could ask, but uh, we have to make sure that we're uh, on time too. I see that Zal is uh, on camera now too. So yeah, looking forward to learning more, Weston. And thanks for sharing. And I suppose if maybe Zal would like to go next. Sure. Hello. Hello, everyone. Um, welcome if it's your first time. Um, I've been joining for the last few weeks and been really enjoying seeing what um, different things people are building for optimism. I got the invite from one of my friends in PDX DAO, who I've been interacting with this last year. I'm actually really new to DAOs and blockchain. 2023 is the year that I kind of went down the rabbit hole. Um, I currently, uh, I have for the past three years have been managing musicians and trying to find different ways to promote their music in different capacities that they weren't able to previously. And um, when I found the blockchain, I got really interested in the, in the technology and the different use cases that could be applied to musicians. So over the past eight to 10 months, I started to learn more and more about blockchain, just diving in deep, just trying to join different groups and, and do a lot of research and um, and kind of figure out where in the crazy circus of crypto I wanted to make my move and and make a difference. So um, I knew I wanted to do something in music and to help out my musicians. So I recently have started a newsletter to essentially demystify emerging technologies for musicians with the goal of taking all the noise that's there with AI and blockchain and simplifying it down into easy to understand tools for musicians, something that they could use right out of the box. Um, so ultimately I wanna make a public good that is um, used for onboarding musicians to Web3. Um, my goal ultimately with that is to call that Z Talent on chain and really strive towards not monetizing that in any capacity and having that as a resource for someone who knows nothing about Web3 or blockchain to be able to dive in and have the uh, a resource for free for them to learn more about um, blockchain and the use cases and how it can be applicable to their brand as a musician. Um, recently, over the past two weeks, I have been working on the other side of what I'm building, which I would like to build in a collective of independent artists. Um, I definitely, over the last month of being part of DAO December, have been really interested over the past just few months in starting a DAO. And I know people are very down on the term DAO, but as, essentially over the past two weeks, I've been ideating um, over an idea that I've kind of had for the last few months of creating this uh collective of independence that could contribute and add value to each other and really prop each other up. So ultimately this last two weeks, I've been really working towards that goal. Last week I met with a couple of individuals to try and essentially um, take my vision and explain it into someone else's brain and have that person be able to kind of repeat back to me what I was thinking so that we were kind of both on the same page and ultimately had an idea for what we need to build in 2024 to make this work. So this last week and weekend has been a lot of me just spending time um, starting my notion, starting all the project management stuff on it and um, and chatting with different people and getting opinions on um, on small little things of where um, they have experience and and things I can learn from their experience of you know mistakes or pros and cons of different things. So I'm really in that research phase right now while also kind of transitioning into that doing phase and starting phase. So my goal ultimately is to be able to, in the first quarter of 2024, really get the DAO ready, um, a prototype ready. And I have some, some music from my musician already ready to go. Um, I'm just kind of setting up the DAO and, and want to kind of have a product and, and do a test run and then go from there. So that's kind of where I'm at. Really been interested more and more about optimism during my time here. And um, I'm excited to use optimism in different ways and, uh, and learn how it can grow at the same time as my DAO. So that's a little bit about me. Thank you, everyone, for, for listening in. 
I just got unmuted. Thanks so much, Sal. That was awesome. I see Delara putting out um, some confetti cannons too. Uh, yeah, I'm really excited to learn more and happy about how you're doing great stuff for musicians. So uh, if anyone wants to share any links, by the way, feel free to either share links. Uh, as I did with Weston, I could share anybody's screen as they're presenting in, in future weeks or now. And then if you want to share links in the Zoom chat or in the Optimism Discord, Optimism Fractal Discord, then feel free. Uh, Zal, would you like to pick anybody to go next? Or Delara or Space Wrangler? Joe, would you like to volunteer to go next? I can go next. Okay. Sounds if you, great. Yeah, oh, okay, but I yeah. want to ask something before starting. Uh, does this all relate to optimism or I can just uh, tell you what I did uh, in terms of crypto and blockchain during this week and my experiences? Yeah, so you, you, you're welcome to share anything about you. You could share your more general experience <laughs> and work with um, with Web3 um, and just share a more general introduction to who you are and so forth as well, as much as you'd like. Uh, although when we play the game, what we're going to be doing, I just shared, by the way, um, a link to the Telegram group. So if everybody could please join that, if you scroll up a little bit, um, there's a link to the Telegram group. That's an app called, it's, it's a Telegram app that we call Fractogram, where I'm going to put in polls, yeah. and that's where we're going to reach consensus. And when we play that game, what we're going to rank is who did the most to help optimism. So you, you, okay. you, you're very welcome to share what you did in general, but also it's good to include some things about optimism too, so that you can earn more respect in the game. All right, thank you. Uh, so I can start. Really nice and grateful to be there, guys, and really nice to meet you. And thank you for organizing such uh, this kind of uh, meetings, because I was not, uh, I was not, I don't, I didn't know about these meetings until I found that I found out it uh, in today in the governance forum, and this is because of my onboarding process to Optimism Turkey because my. One of my best friends is uh, the is the lead of Optimism Turkey, and uh, we met with her in uh, this Saturday. And I talk, uh, and we were talk about the retro PGFs, with which I was also uh, familiar with the process because I was, uh, I was doing the uh, framework and creating some proposals for my friends. I have many friends that are familiar with Optimism but I wasn't such interested in optimism until this day. So I was onboarded uh, yesterday with a meeting that people, uh, that the Optimism Turkey community meet and create the 2024 framework for the contents and what are they going to do uh, next year. And so I decided to go to forum and for also for creating content and looking at um, brief look to optimism because I wasn't looking the governance forum for a long time, almost like two, three months. I love uh searching the optimism forum also the other forums but uh because of the retro pgf tra traffic i was kind of afraid of because uh the interesting uh the interesting proposals are missing because of the retro pgf application but i found uh, the fractals proposal that you uh founded in october and i thought that oh what are they doing maybe there are there there will be some alpha about optimism that i can create content or maybe i can uh meet some with some people and it shows up that you are doing it different and different thing that I wouldn't expect actually because uh, you know I think that this is going to be a regular meeting but this is like a meeting for people that uh, this is a contribution to optimism ecosystem because of the people are having different lives and we are all uh, have something in common and it is blockchain and we are giving some alphas and also some particular uh, things that we done in our lives because we are the ones who are creating and contributing to this ecosystem and so i'm so uh, excited to 
became more familiar with optimism the ecosystem and i want to know more and more about this ecosystem because it looks interesting the people are looking interesting and uh also the events are really good and also the the intention of optimism's funding the public goods is the difference of optimism from other chains because i wasn't i since my familiarity with crypto i haven't seen this kind of people that are having the same intention as contributing something uh as much as they can so i'm so uh, happy to be in optimism and i want to uh, get more and more familiar thank you all right, awesome. Well, thanks so much, Dalar. Um, it's really inspiring to hear from you, um, as well as everybody so far. So um, we're a little short in time, so I suppose we can pass on to Space Wrangler, Joe. Uh, but I'm really excited about all you shared, Dalar. And uh, it's, uh, also, just by the way, everybody's in the Fractogram group now. So um, I'm going to put out a prompt in just a moment that will ask for your optimism account address your public key um so uh when i put that out in just a moment actually i'll put it out right now so you can see it um if, if you open up your um your telegram app you should see a message that i just put out please enter your optimism account as a reply to this message and then if you could please um copy and paste your uh optimism account the public key in there um and do that as a reply by either right clicking on it if you're on a computer or holding down on it uh, if you're on a mobile device just to make sure you reply and then I'll show you how I do it with my opt-in account and you can follow the example and that'll make it so that when we vote on there then when we use the web app it'll automatically go on chain and all good um, but yeah thanks again so much to Lara and Space Ranger Joe would you like to go next yeah sure sorry I was trying to find my my wallet address here um uh yeah so um so i uh this week i've been looking at optimism's nft stuff so it was interesting to hear weston talk um and i uh i was looking at a few different ones there's a zero code nft i really like how optimism has these has these uh, platforms where they are multi-chain um that one seemed to have the most uh i think it was like around a dozen or so um so i was just looking into the tools that are available on optimism for that so it was really cool to hear weston's thing and check it out um i'd love to hear more about you know his plans uh to, to, to for the future for that um and then um I don't know how to say his name. I'm gonna call him Mr. Z, uh, the music guy, Mr. Z. Uh I I couldn't help but as Dan mentioned, uh I take part with a couple of fractals, and one of them uh has that Dan mentioned was Aquadac. And the uh kind of leader of that group is a musician, but he's also created a uh a great uh a great platform for musicians to share their music and earn and it's based on uh location and uh he's got people from all over the world he's got a great database set up um you can go on this world map and kind of not kind of you can click on different locales like little dots on the map and their music and you can learn about the creators and play their music and he's really involved with music in the blockchain so i would encourage you to, to check his stuff out his name's gouda soul like the cheese um and uh the music platform is cxc uh and that's been going on for a couple years uh that's uh through wax uh it's a different blockchain um very low transaction fees i think that's partially why he he went on there um but he's he's i know been here in this group as well so i know he's um you know a, a fan of web3 and blockchain in general i don't think he's like you know a maxi by any means 
Um, so I, I think that would be a great person for you to to reach out and, and make contact with. And yeah, so just for me this week, contributions to optimism is just like studying more, learning more about it. Um, I just uh, was checking it out. It's on Tip CC. I just did something for Tip CC uh, recently, and uh, so I was just checking on that, and and it's in there. So that's cool. It's in Discord, um, and uh, yeah, that's about the extent of my optimism uh, contributions this week. All right, twelve seconds to go. Perfect. All right, awesome. Thank you very much, Joe. Uh, awesome to hear from you as always. I see also Zal wrote that he'd love to connect with Aquadac and music and shoot me any info you had. He says, well, it's amazing. Can't wait to see more. And Zal also shared links to his Twitter or X account, NFT Gamer Web 3, as well as Instagram and LinkedIn. So thanks for sharing those. And yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing this collaboration. Scootasol joins a lot of, he's joined like four or five of these meetings and he'll be here in the future as well. So it'd be a great opportunity to collaborate. He does some really cool stuff. Um, Cool, and you sent a message. So, uh, so, so far, everybody has responded to the um, Telegram account with their Optimism account, except for Joe. So, Joe, could you please uh, find that and then respond to that message when you get a chance? And I should also probably put out too. I, I suppose as a host, I made a bit of a mistake because uh, I think I kind of we did a bit of questions and stuff for a bit too long in the beginning, and I probably should save that for later. Um, so we only have about ten minutes or so to reach consensus. Um, so now would be the time if you have any questions or comments for anybody that would help you uh, reach consensus. Then feel free to ask any quick questions or comments for anybody. And then once Joe gets that uh, Optimus account to respond to the message, then basically I'll put out a poll in there, and I'll say. Who do you think should be ranked level six? Um, and what that means basically is just um, who do you think did the most help optimism this week? And then you'll vote in the poll. Everybody will vote in the poll. And then we'll have to come to four to five consensus um, about who got level six, who did the most, who did the second most, who did the third most, and so forth. We'll have different polls for each one of those ranks. Uh, and then at the end, then uh, there will be a little prompt that says click here to submit this on chain. And then we'll have to, or, or, or then we'll click it there uh, and make sure that we're all in consensus. And then um, the way it works is that at least 66% of us, at least two thirds of us, or four or five of us need to submit it on chain uh, in order for us to receive the respect tokens at the end. So I hope that makes sense. If anybody has any quick questions for how it works or any quick questions for anybody uh, based on what they share, then feel free to share. And in the meantime, I'll also put out that uh, message about level six. Go see that Joe put in his public key there. Okay, I'm guessing nobody has questions. If you do, then uh, feel free to jump in. Um, but otherwise, you need you now see the poll. It says, who do you think should be ranked as level six? And you can see Zal, Weston, uh, Maria, who I believe is Delaria, Space, uh, who is Space Ranger Joe, and myself. And so now you can click on whichever uh, person you think should be ranked as level six and receive the most respect for helping Optimism this week. And so far, there's two of five votes. So we'll, uh, we'll wait until everybody votes. So please submit your vote there. And it looks like there is uh, there's five votes. Everybody voted right now. And uh, the way it is is that there's one vote for Zal, who is from me. There's one vote from Weston, from Delara. And there's three votes from me, from Weston, Space Ranger Joe, and Zal. So we don't yet have consensus. We need to come to four to five consensus in order to move on. Um, so I'd be happy to switch over to myself uh, in order to reach consensus quickly. If anyone wants to share some reasoning for uh, why they voted, then you could feel free to do so um, and try to sway the votes. But otherwise, I'm happy to just switch my votes over to, I really appreciate what Zal's doing, but I also, I've been doing a lot and I appreciate everybody's votes for me too. I voted for you. <laughs> this is helpful. Cool. Well, thanks, Weston, and I'm glad you find it helpful. So yeah, I'll switch my vote. To, uh, I just did by accident there. I'll vote for myself here. And now I have four to five consensus. So thanks everybody for the respect. And now we can move on to level five. And so now basically we repeat the process, but now there's all Weston, um, Delara and Space Ring Good Joe. And now you vote for who should be like level five. Who do you think did the second most job optimism this week?
So far there's four votes in and we haven't yet received a vote from Weston. Okay, and so now there's not consensus again. There is two votes from Zal, from Delar and myself, and there's three votes for Weston from Weston, Zal, and Space Wrangler. Okay, if anyone would like to um, share their reasoning or their thoughts here, then feel free to go ahead. And we need to come to at least four to five consensus in order to be able to move on. I can go ahead and share my reasoning and thoughts if you'd like. I'm happy to go either way. I was thinking about voting for Weston as well. Um, I, I think what Weston's doing with anti-Earth, I haven't heard much about it, but it looked really interesting. It looks like a, like a pretty like fully comprehensive and helpful app for NFTs. So, and I appreciate your enthusiasm and your attitude and all that. So I'd be happy to switch to Weston. Also, I, uh, I've i been getting to know Zal and I've been following him on Twitter over the past few weeks and I love his enthusiasm. He also joined on camera too, so I like that as well. And it seems like he's been making really exciting progress. That's why I voted for Zal. But I'd be happy to switch to Weston if that would help us reach consensus. Or if anyone wants to switch their vote to Zal, um, then there would need two votes. Uh, or if anyone wants to share their thoughts about who they think should be level five, does anybody want to uh, advocate either way or share their thoughts? I suppose in the interest of time, I'll just uh, switch my vote to Weston. Okay, cool. So Weston gets level five and Zal is clapping. Sounds good. And now we can vote for level four. Oh, so we all vote each. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Yep. Everybody votes for each round. And there's uh, not a vote from Space Wrangler Joe yet. Okay, and now we don't have consensus again. So Zal has three votes uh, and Space Wrangler Joe has two votes. Space Wrangler Joe was voted by Zal and Delara and uh, myself, Weston, and Space Wrangler Joe voted for Zal. Zal, if you'd like to switch to vote for yourself, then you could be level four. Or if anybody else would like to advocate either way, then you can go ahead and share your thoughts here. Perhaps Al, if you'd like to uh, either vote for yourself or explain why you voted for Space Ranger Joe and advocate that way. Uh, and by the way, like I said before, we're in a bit of a rush before. Normally we'd have more time to like discuss this. So my apologies for having this part a bit rushed. In the future, we'll make sure we have more time to have deeper discussions about each one. About each ranking. Okay. And by the way, if anyone wants to retract their vote and change it, you can right click on it. Or if you're on mobile, you can hold down on the mobile um, on the message. And then there's a message, there's a little pop up that says retract vote. And that's the way that you can change your vote between people. And it looks like somebody changed their vote there. So Zal now has four votes. So we have consensus for Zal at level four. And we'll move on to level three. And another thing to keep in mind too is that we do this every week, or uh, other than the next two weeks, we do it every week. So um, if people didn't earn a lot of respect this week, I mean, everybody earns respect by joining here. But if somebody uh, wanted to get level five or level six and I got level four or three or whatever, then there's always more weeks. And it's kind of like a long term game where you get more respect every time you join. And so far we have votes from everybody but Zal. Zal would like to vote. We're at two votes for Delar and two votes for Space Wrangler Joe. Okay, and now we have three votes for Space Wrangler Joe. Uh, if anyone would like to share their reasoning here, then feel free to do so. I suppose I can go ahead as well and say, uh, oh, it looks like somebody maybe switched right there. Uh, yep, Space Ranger Joe now has four votes. So we have consensus on Space Ranger Joe, and now we'll do it for level two. And Space, or uh, level two will automatically be Delar, actually. So we have now reached consensus, and now I'm going to put out uh, what we, the consensus results message. So 
I'm going to just real quick to see our group number is number two. So nobody has to worry about that, but that's just a second breakout group basically. And now you'll now see a message that uh, says, based on the latest polls, it seems to result with me at level six, Weston at level five, Zal at level four, Space Ranger Joe at level three, and Maria at level two. Uh, and then, yeah, there's a thumbs up if you agree. But then what we need to make sure in order for us to get the on-chain respect points is to submit these on-chain. So at the bottom, you can say results can be submitted here. Well, and when you click that, it'll open up a link to optimumfractal.web app, and then um, you'll hit the continue button in the middle of the screen. And then when you do that, uh, you'll see at the top of it, it'll say two, which just means that we're in the second breakout room. And then it has the optimism accounts for each person there. And if, if you wanted, you could double check that, but it has my optimism account first, then Weston, then Zal, then Space Ranger Joe's, then Delar. And then when you go to hit submit, then it'll pop up a little uh, hash, just in case you don't need to read that. But if you want to confirm that, it should say 7D362FF9. And that basically just is a hash to make sure that we're all submitting the same thing. Uh, so if everybody could please uh, use their Web3 uh, wallet, their MetaMask, or whatever other account you use with Optimism um, to push that on chain, then the way it works is that we need to submit each one, or four to five of us need to submit on chain before uh, one hour from now in order for us to earn respect. And then everybody will earn respect for joining and uh, for helping to reach consensus. Does that all make sense? Yeah, thank you for explanation. You're welcome. Thanks, Solar. I see Zal yeah. said he had to go in three minutes and uh, he has to pop off uh, and he said, can you shoot me a message if we don't get all votes on chain? Yeah, so if everybody could please make sure to submit that. We'll also go back into the main room now. Um, so we'll meet up with the other room and see how they did. And then if anybody has any uh, questions or comments um, about reaching consensus and submitting it on chain, then feel free to ask there, as well as if you want to just ask some more general questions or share some more general thoughts about Optimism Fractal, the respect game, your experience so far, or introduce yourself a bit to the broader community and everybody who's in the other room, then we can do so there as well. But anyway, I hope that everybody had an awesome time here. Uh, it's been really fun getting to know everybody and meet everybody, and I'm really excited to learn everybody uh, more about everybody. Um, and yeah, so thanks everybody so much. Thanks, Weston and Dalar and Space Ringo Cho, and also shout out to Zal too for the awesome respect game and the awesome time and all the awesome work. Thank you, everyone. Nice to meet you all. Thanks, guys. And this hope was to fun. See you again. Cool. Sounds good. Well, yeah, I'll, I'll close breakout rooms now, and then it'll, I think, bring up a timer where you can either just chill out for 60 seconds or you can just hit go back to the main breakout room and or the main community room. And then we'll see you there and we'll probably stick around for another, I don't know, 15 minutes or 10 minutes or half hour, something like that. So we'll have more time to discuss then if you want. But yeah, thanks, everybody, and I'm glad you enjoyed it. And I'll see you back in the community room. Stay friendly with Joe. He's back. <laughs> That's right. And so is Hodlon, and so is Bitbeckers, and Seth, and Delar, and Weston from our room, and Rosemary. Welcome back, everybody. Hope that you're doing great. Great to see you, Bitbeckers. And you got a cool background there, too. So nice to see you. Um, yeah, so I hope that everybody had a fun time in their room. Uh, I, I, I'd, I'd ask, I ask that everybody please submit consensus on chain, too. I know our room went a bit long. Um, so I'm not sure if we've all submitted consensus yet. If anybody has any issues submitting that transaction on chain or any questions about how to do that, then please feel free to ask. And if we could get a confirmation from uh, everybody in the chat or somewhere, if you could just let us know if you're able to do it, then we'd appreciate it as well. And I'd be very interested to hear. Uh, I was already able to confirmed. You said that was confirmed, Wesson? Uh, yep, yep, mine was confirmed. Okay, great. Thank you. And I see a thumbs up from Seth, too. So that looks good from Seth. I'm just about to submit mine right now. Um, and I've got a thumbs up from Rosemary, too. So sounds good. I think most people were able to get it. But uh, Delara and Joe, Bitbecker, is, uh, I think Bitbecker and Hotline are good at it now and got it now. Uh, Delara got a thumbs up, too. Okay, yeah, I cool. submitted, too. Okay, sounds great. Thanks, Delara. So I think we'll have consensus then. And then, yeah, basically, uh, like, um, well, I hope everybody had a great time in their breakout room. And like Hodlon was saying, or before, he said he'd like to discuss more about next steps for Optimism Fractal. As I said before, this is our last Optimism Fractal meeting of the year. 
uh, and we'll be coming back on June 8th. Or, I said June again. I don't know what's up with me. On January 8th of next year in three weeks from now. And so uh, in, we're planning out the next steps for Optimism Practical and see what will happen. So interested to hear people's thoughts about that. But I suppose first, what would be best is to hear from maybe, I mean, anybody can jump in with any thoughts that I hear. We don't have that much structure for this part of the meeting. So be curious just to hear what you thought about the respect game and your breakout room. I'd be particularly interested to hear from Seth, I uh, hope you enjoyed it. And also Delara and Weston, I, I heard from them in our breakout room, but if, if you all want to introduce yourself a little bit to the uh, community room, or uh, yeah, I got someone in mind too, Rosemary, apparently. Um, yeah, but I'd be happy to hear your feedback. Um, if you enjoyed the experience or anything else you had on your mind or anything you'd like to see in future Optimum Fractal um, from everybody new and then from everybody else who's here. So yeah, would anybody like to uh, go ahead and share some thoughts now? If not, by the way, too, we do usually wrap up the meeting after an hour or two, so we could just wrap it up at any time, too. But I know um, Hubman said he wanted to discuss some future stuff, and we'd be happy to hear from everybody, really. And I have some time to stick around, too, so we can have kind of a more relaxed and open conversation, if you all would like. And if, if, uh, if, if I could just make a uh, my one um, quick takeaway was I thought that was super interesting. So thanks for hosting and putting it together. I, like I said, I, I just came across this um last minute and very happy to have joined and um i feel like this really um is actually an and you know how i was talking about in in our my um uh, time to speak about like attestations and on-chain credentials and reputations i feel like that's like literally <laughs> actually what we just did um in in a, in a certain way if that makes sense so i th i think that's really cool so glad to have joined Awesome. Well, thank you very much, Weston. Uh, and I'm glad you enjoyed it. And I agree too. That's what we're doing here. We're making these on-chain attestations. And yeah, really interesting to hear uh, hear about your work and, and hear about you in our break room too. So I'm very pleased that you enjoyed it so much. And I really appreciate all the great feedback. Got some claps from Rosemary as well. Uh, if anybody else wanted to jump in, I'd be curious to hear from Seth. I didn't hear from Seth. Um, I see Seth's unmuted now. Uh, yeah, so I thought this was a really cool experience. Um, <clears throat> I I think that it actually was a very efficient way to share work and also allow, like, allow people to get very granular and talk about small contributions that would probably fall through the cracks in another tool because you're not going to like maybe say, oh, I did this small little thing. Uh, in text or something. Um, I thought it was cool to get some social interaction in there uh, and get to know people at the same time. That's also like efficient because you're kind of doing that in parallel and I don't think it interfered with the ranking. Um, and yeah, I thought the ranking made sense. The like the whole flow worked well and yeah, like, yeah, psyched to see what you're building. Wow, that's awesome to hear. Thanks so much, Seth. I'm, I'm really glad you enjoyed it. That's really helpful feedback. And um, yeah, um, um, I'm just thrilled that you and Weston are enjoying it. Um, and everybody's enjoying it. It's been it's been such an amazing experience sharing this with everybody and uh, seeing all uh, seeing everybody enjoy it. So that's really great to hear. By the way, too, um, I, uh, I know before we started recording, Seth, you said that you were building something, I think, and you're thinking of integrating um, Optimism Fractal or Respect Game with it in some way. And then I know Weston also during our meeting um, or during our breakout room, he shared that he's got um, a project called NFT Earth.Exchange. If anybody wanted to um, just generally introduce themselves a little bit for the group or share some links to their work or anything like that, then uh, then feel free to do so as well. Just, Seth, I see you're unmuted if you wanted to add a little bit more about yourself or anything else. Uh, yeah, so um, I just got some Git Gitcoin grant money uh, to um, to do a little uh, research um, using source cred to analyze uh, probably rep uh, like attendance data is what I'm interested in. And so I'm looking at Optimism Fractal as a possible source of attendance data. Um, just kind of like checking around other projects, no promises, but um, definitely... Uh, bullish on what you're doing. Okay. Well, sounds great. Very interesting. And congrats on raising the grant with Gitcoin too. That's awesome to hear. And 
I'll be looking forward to seeing your work as it progresses and feel free to reach out with any questions or comments too. If you want to learn more about it, uh, we have the optimism, uh, fractal discord. Maybe, uh, my uh, see Rosemary just shared the source cred website, which I, I suppose is the project you're talking about there. Um, so, uh, source cred.io looking forward to learning more about it. And then maybe if Rosemary, you want to share the optimism fractal discord too, where people can, uh, Share their work. We actually just started up a new uh, channel on Hubman's request last week about uh, show your project. I think it's called too. So if you could share their projects there, uh, and then also if you want to just ask any questions that'd be helpful for your research, then we'd be happy to uh, to hear it. And I see Hubman clap and thanks Hubman for the great suggestion. Um, cool. I'd be curious to hear. Seth, of course, if you have anything else you want to share, then feel free to go ahead. Or Dilar, if you wanted to share any some thoughts uh, as a new person, you haven't spoken for the group yet. Uh, of course, no need if, if you want to just listen, but we'd be happy to hear from you if you want. Or Weston, if you want to share a little bit about your work too, that'd be welcome. Or um, yeah, I suppose first we'll see if Dilar or Weston want to anything else, and then we can open it up and see if anybody else wants to um, to share their feedback or share their thoughts for the future of Optimism Practical or anything else. And if anybody does just feel like just jumping in for some quick comments too, we have a pretty small group. So uh, people can raise their hands in Zoom if you want to make sure that we'll get to you. Or if you want to just share something quick, then feel free to just jump in as well. Yeah, I kind of agree with others. This is a good uh, environment to share our thoughts and our experiences. So I think this is like a relaxed session uh, to connect with people, which we are all need and thank you for this i will share my share this experience in governance forum and also i want to share uh, that there is a session because maybe people don't know about this and do not have access so i want to uh i love the game and i want to um introduce this game to my community and uh, want to, you know, want them to also join. All right, super cool. Uh, I see Rosemary putting the heart, I'll put that up too. And this heart's both what Delara said and all the feedback, uh, but that sounds awesome. I know Delara, you said you've been working with Optimum in Turkey. Um, and so I, I've been following Optimum in Turkey on Twitter too, I think, and seeing lots of cool stuff come from there. Uh, and yeah, it, it's been great hearing from you too. So. I'm glad you enjoyed it and thanks so much for also sharing the feedback both here and you said you post on the forum too. So we really appreciate that. It helps other people understand um, and enjoy the benefits of what we're doing here. And then yeah, inviting your friends too. That that sounds great. So thank you so much, Laura. I really appreciate that. As I said before, we do this every when every Monday uh, after we come back. And so everybody's welcome to join. And because we do it with this fractal structure where people go in breaker rooms, as many people as want can come really. Uh, and then also in addition to our tools are open source. Um, so if anybody wanted to, um, start using these tools and play the respect game with their own community, then you can do that too. And when we can help you get set up with that as well. So thanks so much. So I really appreciate it. I'm glad you enjoyed it. All right. Uh, well, we've heard a bit from everybody new. I don't know if, uh, if anybody, uh, I know Weston, you didn't share anything about your work. You just shared some feedback. So if you want to share a little bit about your work with NFT exchange and that, then feel free if you want to just give a general introduction or, uh, see Bitbecker is kind of like chilling there patiently. I feel like he's probably got some interesting stuff on his mind or I know Hadlon had some questions. I see Hadlon's unmuted. So yeah, curious to hear if anyone wants to jump in. I see both Hadlon and Weston are unmuted. So who wants to go first? Go for it, Weston. Um Okay. Yeah. Happy to. Um, just not, not like the entire thing. You mean just like a additional kind of follow-up points, I assume. Um, yeah. Uh, uh, I mean, do, do, yeah, just for some context, it, like the, the four minute presentation and introduction you gave during the breakout room will be uh, published on, on YouTube. So everybody can see it and listen there, but uh, oh, I mean, okay. it, it, yeah, it, if you want to okay. also just uh, for everybody in this community, in this community room here too, who wasn't the breakout room, uh, just give like a very quick introduction to yourself and maybe like drop a link or something like that so people can explore more, then that would be cool. Yeah. Or anything else you think that would be helpful to share? Yeah, for sure. So um, again, my name is Weston Nelson. Um, and I'm a big fan of the optimism uh, vision uh, is kind of what I was explaining. I, I, can, I guess I can do this a lot more concisely now the second time, um, but uh, have been a big fan of the overall uh, vision of finding a way to sustainably build things um, in crypto. And I feel like th that optimism seems to be uh, the only chain that is also 
you know, is equally focused on that. Um, and I'm working right now on a, I've been like full-time crypto for a few years. And right now I'm working on a project called NFT earth. It's an NFT, um, protocol. And I'm really focused on figuring out a solution to interoperability between, uh, ch between chains, specifically like rollups and using like layer zero contracts is something that I've um, written and deployed for uh, fungible tokens. But I think that in order to get users to a layer two, such as optimism, there has to be a very seamless and 100% or not 100%, there's never 100% bulletproof security, but um, it, it virtually, you know, it, it is highly secure as you possibly can have it for a L1 NFT user to migrate to L2 because for the past year, that's the challenge we've been trying to overcome is getting people to come to L2s. And now I think we know why. And I've, I've actually got an architecture in place for contracts to make this happen. So, um, so yeah, if, if anybody, I'm a, and I, I feel like optimism really would be the best place to, to kind of really focus on like music and art and everything. So um, would love to see it happen on optimism. But uh, yeah, if anyone would like to connect on that, I'm, I'm uh, op open to chat whenever. All right, sounds great. Well, thank you very much, Weston. <clears throat> um, yeah, we're also talking about some art collaborations too with uh, Gudisol, who's a who's a community member who joins here too. So and Zal as well, who had to go a little while, but lots of people who are making cool art and uh, helping out growing optimism. So thanks for sharing. Um, I know Hotline wanted to go next also. Uh, I don't know if you shared a little bit more about your work, but if you wanted to share more about your work in general and a little bit more intro to yourself, then feel free to jump in. But otherwise, I know Hodlon had something to share. And um, yeah, I know Hodlon's been curious about uh, next steps. And so uh, if you want to go next, Hodlon, or feel free to jump in at any point, Dalar or anybody else. Uh, yeah, sure. Um, the So I was curious to kind of maybe continue or wrap up or talk more about the conversation we, we were having last time, just to kind of about floating the idea of like having seasons and we're kind of like wrapping up like a season right now, it feels like, especially with the end of the calendar year. And like, I've been thinking about it in terms of like a season and like reflecting, like there's some reflection and like, um, I don't know, I might do like a, like a thread or write something about kind of like the season one um, and reflect on it um, and think about the things that are nice, like some things we're, can improve and then thinking about like the next like the new year kind of like starting the next next season and kind of launching um a second season but i don't know if that is shared like that kind of concept is shared um or if like there's an intention um behind that or if this is exactly what um you know the space is for is kind of coming to consensus around <laughs> around around what we're doing um, and it's kind of open for, for these kind of ideas to be, to be put forth. Um, and then I'm also curious, I um, want to talk about like, what exactly, like, what is, what is the optimistics vision of like the utility, um, and how can we, uh, be utilizing, um, the respect tokens that we're kind of distributing? Cause I think it's a fun experiment and a fun game. Um, but I've also been, I've also been thinking a lot about like, I think we talked last time about like how we can, you know, design some sort of uh, council or some sort of, you know, like the top respect holders <clears throat> are able to um, do things like uh, that one week where uh, we weren't able to push the respect tokens on chain and the, uh, the time ran out. And then there was like consensus among optimistics of like, okay, let's distribute them anyway. Um, so things like that, that um, are outside of the, the code like the code didn't work for us. How can we as people come to consensus and do that? And like, oh, maybe we can like use the respect tokens to create um, space, like uh, a space and opportunity to manage the more kind of like people, the people interactions and the people side um, so that we're not always stuck with the code. So those are just some of my thoughts that I wanted to share and put out there. Good points and good questions. Thanks, Hathan. So, you know, I can answer both those. I mean, if anyone wants to jump in and, and share their thoughts or add on to that, then feel free as well. I'm very curious to hear what everybody thinks. But um, 
yeah, I suppose I'll just go ahead and uh, there's two main points you uh, brought up and two two main kind of questions. Uh, one was about what the next steps are, whether we'll have seasons and like how that will be decided. And then two is like the optimistics vision for respect and what respect will do, what the utility of respect is. So first off, uh, yeah, basically we don't have plans yet for making seasons or for how the next season would work or how this season would work, but we have the consensus process to decide that basically. And we just haven't had a consensus about it yet. So I think seasons is a good idea. We've actually, so we've been, uh, we've been running fractals and participating in fractals for the past two years, as I said before, uh, but we've never actually had seasons. Actually, there's one season, uh, there's one fractal that's experimented with seasons, but most haven't experimented seasons. And mostly we've just done it week after week after week. And it's been, you know, just a, just the next meeting and so forth. But I think there's a lot of value in seasons. Like I see how Optimism Collective does seasons, uh, season five of governance and so forth that, that's just starting now. And I think there's a lot of great value in having that iterative process where you can learn from each week and see how it goes um, or learn from each season. And perhaps the seasons can be like three months long. And I agree, we've basically just done three months uh, for the nine weeks. And it would kind of make sense to have a season end at the end of the year and then a new one start. Uh, but currently we just don't have consensus about that. And the way the consensus process currently works about who would decide that, um, if you go to optimumfractal.com slash details at the bottom of that, it says there's a bootstrap phase for the consensus process, which is basically the optimistics team is basically making the decisions. And that's for the first 12 weeks. And that's um, myself, Rosemary, Vlad, and Das. Vlad and Das are two developers on the team um, who can't be with us here today, but they've been at a bunch of other meetings and, and we meet every week as a team to like try to figure out the best direction for Optimism Fractal. So uh, yeah, like previously we made a decision with a three, we have a three out of four consensus process to make decisions basically. And that's how we decided to award respect even though people didn't submit consensus on time uh, some weeks ago. And then I suppose that's how we could do seasons as well. But um, basically that end of the 12 week bootstrap period is also happening in three weeks, or I guess it'll be six weeks now because we're taking a two week break or five weeks. So at that point, the idea is that the top six uh, people who have earned the most respect would be on the council. And I think it would be like top six respect over time. Like it'd be like past 12 weeks, something like that. Um, I'm, we're not totally sure the details are, but we've experimented with that where it's not just all time respect earners, but most recent respect earners. Uh, we've also experimented with ideas like delegates, like people like delegates each week too. So we have to determine the consensus process basically. And most respected members is probably one pretty easy way to do it. And we chatted a bit in uh, the chat, uh, the discord for optimism practical hotline about hats protocol, which I've been doing a lot of research into this week. I appreciate you sharing your feedback and ideas there very much. And I've been working on a response, which might be turning into kind of blog posting like that. But I think that also kind of ties into your second question with the utility of respect, which is that, um, I mean, right now, well, respect is a great thing. It's just like a way to signal that you respect somebody and that's like important in itself. But then in addition, it has all these on-chain integrations too and composability options and powers and so forth. And so from what I can see, it seems like the HATS protocol is a really good system to um, and to use or to to give more utility to respect. I'm open to other options too, if people have other ideas. And I think there's a lot of great options out there, but what I've been researching a lot over the past week, HATS protocol and um, how it could work where people who earn respect get different roles. Like for example, it could be an automatically updating council based on respect. Uh, and then there could be other things too. Like um, for example, you can join this discord or join this event or join this um, charm verse or notion page or whatever when you have respect as well. So. I think over time that'll become like increasingly valuable and increasingly helpful for many different reasons. But yeah, it's basically up to the community to decide though. Um, me and the Optimistic team are going to do our best to help guide it. And I don't know, maybe we'll come up with a decision in the next few weeks before the bootstrap phase ends. I mean, I'm sure we will come up with something at least, but uh, maybe we'll have a proposal for the community or maybe if anybody in the community wants to make a proposal or just bounce ideas around here or in the Optimism Fractal Discord. Uh, but basically we're all just going to just, just figure it out um, together as far as when we'll do seasons or how we'll do seasons if we do them. Uh, I didn't like formally announce this is like the end of the season because we could also do it where the season ends after the 12 weeks too, after we come back. So that's another option too. Um, and yeah, we just need to reach consensus about that and the utility respect and be curious. I don't know, Rosemary, if you have different ideas about that as an Optimistics team member and and and, and a fellow leader of Optimism Fractal, if you want to share some thoughts uh, or um, I'm curious if you have thoughts about that. Hotline, I'm sure you do, or I see Bitbeckers is still interested and I'm curious to hear your thoughts. So I don't know, maybe it's best to Rosemary. Do you have any thoughts you want to share here? Or... Uh, I agree. No, I, mean, I agree with everything you said because this is, we've discussed it a bit and I agree with what you said. 
we can all decide. Okay, cool. Sounds good. And yeah, very interested to hear these kinds of thoughts on like proposals. Oh, and, and also I'm interested in seasons, yes. I like the seasons idea, for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like um, uh, creating rhythms, you know, um, instead of just uh, going. Instead of just constant, you know, going. Uh, and I, I live in a place that has very specific seasons, like I'm in the Northern Hemisphere. And so I find it as like a natural rhythm for myself. Um, and so, and then I also posted in the chat, like I've heard that some DAOs have found like hats is moving to four month seasons because um, they got feedback and they were trying three, but then it, it was, it was too short. Um, and so it sounds like, like three, four month seasons, um, other DAOs have found work really, really well. Um, but yeah. And then I also, um, Dan to your, uh, you were talking about kind of you were you've been looking at hats a little bit um and then something that i i'm going to repost this here so this is a this is the start this is a um cast storm that i that i started um talking about reputation based s systems like reputation based tokens um uh for consensus um and you know, i'm going to continue it and kind of describe like i'm going into and kind of doing research into like how proto dao like the hats dao is is doing stuff and how it's like similar and kind of different it's very similar to how uh, uh optimism fractal is um and so i'm ha happy to post that in the discord dan um and share that with you because i feel like it might um help it's just like some research to maybe help like kind of inform um like what we want to like yeah what what's what we want to choose to do um so yeah super happy to like share um more of my thoughts and research around what people are doing and how we can share it, you know, share ideas and integrate stuff. And I also think hats, I'm doing the same thing at hats. <laughs> like I'm I'm over at hats going, this is there's cool stuff that Optimism Fractal is doing. And I think that a lot of the stuff we're doing, some of the stuff we're doing could like really benefit hats as well. So it's kind of cool to see that synergy from where I'm standing. Is maybe to uh to jump in here, is this also what you want to achieve with seasons? Do you wanna is the idea to work towards something because I'm I'm not opposed against seasons, but I would like to see a a, a purpose to adding more structure. I mean, I, I love this Monday evening chill and I love to learn people that I don't know and get a better sense of what's going on. I notice also that I'm now here three, four times and I think like maybe we I could do something, you know, but I'm not really sure what. Is this then maybe maybe it's the purpose of the first season is to figure out what could everybody do. Uh, and then hats, of course, is a very, I think, a very powerful tool to facilitate that. But it shouldn't be the goal in itself. Well, great, great points and great questions. Thanks so much, uh, Bitvectors and Hadlan. Um, thanks, Hadlan, for sharing the link to your workcast um, with that uh, message. And yeah, that'd be wonderful. Um, to, uh, it's really cool that you've been uh, promoting and, and speaking about Optimism Fractal at Hats. And yeah, I'm a huge fan of what Hats is doing. And I, I was like in awe as I was watching their demo day and all, see all the cool stuff they're doing. So um, yeah, I think that's really cool. And please do share that in the uh, Discord as well. And I'm going to share more in the Discord there too. Um, and really looking forward to collaborating there. And then, uh, yeah, so th that's one of the things I've been thinking about too, but Becker's about like how to give meaning to the seasons and give more. Like, I think, well, for one thing, I think seasons are a cool idea, partially because fractals are like inspired by nature, they're biomedic, and nature happens to work in seasons too. So I think that's just like a nice thing. And it's, I, I see it also kind of like a sport too, or like a game where sports have weekly or, or seasons throughout the year where they play the game and stuff like that. So I think there's a lot of uh, great things we can lean into as far as just how people understand seasons and how they've worked in other systems like nature and like sports, and that can help what we're doing in a lot of similar ways. But yeah, I agree. I think there should be um like there should be more structure to it and well we're all aligned that we want to grow optimism and so i think that um the optimism collective is leading a great example they have seasons and they have intents for each season like uh they have season five with four intents which i think are like grow the super chain and improve customer exp consumer experience um and improve de technical decentralization and then one other that i'm not remembering at the moment but like that's an idea we could have some intents that we're rallying around um we talked about the idea about like 
how if you have a whole community that's working towards something more specific than just meeting every week, then that can create like kind of an unstoppable momentum and kind of like make it more fun and exciting for people not just to share their work their work and collaborate each week, but also throughout the week they can work to help Optimism Fractal achieve this larger goal. And we have that structure now too. So, so far we've just been kind of, I mean, we haven't really been using it like the governance and the council process so far other than that, that one decision to award respect. Um, but like what one of these Optimism Fractal does is it provides a governance structure to make decisions and to coordinate around what kind of goals you want to signal those kinds of goals, like to we could vote on what our goals are or whatever it is, uh, using respect or using some other system with our consensus process, and then to work towards that. Um, and I think season would be great because you can like season with some specific goals. Um, and also like we could really establish a lot more infrastructure. Like I know hats and many other protocols have like um like Optimism Collective, for example, gov.optimism.io, it has like a really great forum where people are making proposals and like there's very much organization to achieve those intents and do that during the season. So I I agree. Like I think, I mean, for one, if anybody just wants to join and just get the benefits of collaborating and promoting their work and earning respect and stuff, like they don't have to deal with everything. They don't have to um, focus on Optimism Fractal throughout the week or anything like that. They're welcome to just join for the week and we should make it just a space where people can come once a week just to have fun and just to share what they're doing and promote their work and stuff. But at the same time, like I think some people, like for sure myself and Optimistics and um, and it, uh, I appreciate your interest, Hotline and Bitbeckers very much in moving it forward in some way. And so, yeah, I think that we should figure out some sort of structure with the seasons so that we're uh, giving more meaning to earning respect and then giving more... Um, things for the community to rally around that accomplishes everybody's goals and helps grow optimism. And I'd be very curious if you have thoughts about that, um, about the best way to do it or, or any ideas either here or in, um, or in the, in the discord. We're also at 90 minutes too. So if anyone want to wrap it up soon, we can, um, don't want to take up people's time too much, but very happy to keep talking about this too. So I, I just figured I'd just put that in there. You have thoughts about that Bitbeckers or? Yeah, a few, but I also noticed it's 90 minutes in. Um, I had some interesting talks with Holland, or I heard Holland talk about this a few times. He, he I think there's, there's always a, you can think in the timeline where you want to have like governance and where you want to have goal setting and how you want to do this. And usually I get really anxious from people projecting like a lot of uh, structure, but I'm also, I'm very chaotic in how I navigate everything. Um, but what I do like is indeed like some, some level of goal setting. It could even just be, we're like maybe, uh, active in a discord, or maybe somebody helps you all with creating content, or you go from eight to 16 people, or I don't, I don't know. I mean, there, there's so many things that we could do. Usually I, I notice that I, I can commit to a lot of things, but what I'd like to do is is always involved with something that's more on the tech side. Um, so maybe to your proposal, and since we're heading into the holidays, it would be nice to have some sort of brainstorm channel in the Discord where we can just post or shit post or just have a conversation about what do we want to do or what would we like to do or what would be a nice idea. And then when we meet again next year in the, let's say in the winter season, you we can figure out what we want to do with all of these things i love that i like i like this idea a lot cool sounds good well yeah i like it too i love it uh so thanks very much pitbackers for helping to lead us uh and thinking of best solutions so yeah i agree like one thing we do want to keep it simple and have it elegant too we don't want to like, overload people with too much we want to figure out some simple elegant solution that uh and some goal that we can align around like uh, 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 i like your examples and i think we could even come up with something simple like our goal is to grow optimism and here are like our specific goals or metrics that we're aiming to reach. Like you said, 16 people, like we want 20 people to join by the end of next season. You know, we want um, help optimism by these metrics and like that. I don't know, maybe just kind of like brainstorming ideas inspired by how Optimism Collective does it with uh, and their governance. But that's really interesting. And yeah, I think that uh, starting up a, a channel on Discord, it sounds like a good idea. I mean, people can also do that just in the regular Optimism Fractal general chat too. And Maybe that's best. I mean, I'm 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 open to it either way, really. Um, if anybody wants to, if if people uh, strongly favor just doing it in another channel, we can. But that's also kind of like more general chat, specifically focus on optimism. And it would be great. Like we have some good conversation there. But if people want to uh, share more thoughts there, then happy to do so. And um, yeah, at some point it'd be good to like maybe 
I don't know, like just figure out the best way to organize that as a community too, because there's lots of different ways that we can organize it and perhaps grow into different platforms and stuff like that too. So um, yeah, please feel free to share any ideas in the Discord. If you'd like, I can go ahead and create. Uh, I think people had, were happy with the idea of making your brainstorming channel. So maybe Rosemary, you want to make that? Yeah. Um, then, okay, cool. That sounds good. Let's do it. Let's make the brainspring channel then. So people can share as much as they want about brainspring there. And I'll probably also share, I was a little bit, I was wondering how I'm going to respond to all this stuff with hats protocol without taking up too much space in the general channel too. So that, that'll be good. People could share really long messages there. Although feel free to share whatever you want on either channel, uh, as long as it's like optimum factor related and help for the community. And then, yeah, sounds great. Um, so we'll have three weeks off basically, uh, or like two weeks off, but three weeks until our next meeting. And um, I mean, we go, we, we could always have conversations between them too. Like we figure we'll put a stop on the Optimism Factor weekly events so that uh, we give everybody more time for their holidays and stuff like that. But um, I mean, I'll still be around. So if anyone wants to bounce ideas or anything like that, that maybe we can organize some informal discussions from like that uh, if we want to, or we can just do it all in chat and, um, and figure it out and come back to if we can come back to the next meeting on January 8th with uh with like maybe some proposals or more form ideas that we brainstorm over the next few weeks and that'd be really cool so we can get uh some progress and maybe start some season with some structure or something like that going forward all right yeah, um I like that I like it cool sounds great thanks yeah. it, it, was there anything else you wanted to add there how I didn't mean to interrupt you no, no, no. I always have a lot to add, but no, no, no. This is, this is really good. I like, I like kind of the launching off point. I like, like, I think we should, um, you know, if anyone else has anything to say, but just kind of wrap it up and launch off into like, cool, let's brainstorm about more of these ideas. Let's, let's uh, move forward from here. I like it. I want to say I will continue to join your community calls and thank you for, thank you for organizing this. You're very welcome. And thanks so much, Stellar. I look forward to uh, seeing you at the future community calls. I see lots of hard stuff from like four different people here. So that's that's very much appreciated. Five people here. That's great, guys. Thank you. Awesome. You're welcome, Winston. Um, thanks so much for all the uh, positive feedback, as well as sharing your work and experience with us. We really appreciate it. Um, and, and looking forward to seeing you and helping however we can, too. Um, uh, so I uh, I, I I believe that this would be a place that uh, everybody, in addition to helping Optimism Fractal and the whole community, it's a place where we can each help each other a lot too, and the community can help each person. So I really look forward to uh, seeing how everybody can collaborate and helping everybody achieve their goals. Um, and I you know, really appreciate Talar. I'm looking forward to seeing you and really appreciate Weston. And thanks, Seth, for joining as well and sharing all the great stuff you're up to. And looking forward to seeing more of your progress too. If anybody else wants to share some more thoughts, um, I'm ready to wrap it up whenever, but also no rush to. Um, if anybody had any other comments or anything else you want to share, then feel free to go ahead. Maybe I'll give it a little silence. And if anybody wants to jump in, see Wes and given the heart and the hands up. Rosemary just put up this is the channel for seasons brainstorming. Sounds great. And it's seasons brainstorming, but it's also, I suppose it's not just seasons. It's also feel free to brainstorm in uh, just in general about future of optimism fractal and if you want to talk about utility or respect or anything else like that then that's also welcome there too i think maybe it should just be named uh brainstorming rather than seasons brainstorming i, I, I just renamed it oh, okay okay cool cool thanks uh weston and uh maluk who i suppose is delara uh for joining the uh optimism fractal discord and yeah, if anybody wanted to share their project and share their work again, too, we have the Share Your Projects channel, too. So that could be a place that makes it easier for people to find your work. So if you wanted to share any of the links that you shared in the Zoom chat earlier and let people see your work, then feel free to do so. And feel free to ask any questions or share anything like that, too. I suppose what we're maybe at the end, uh, I like Harlan's suggestion about how we could wrap it up and uh, kind of go forward with the next step we just talked about, about brainstorming. So um one last chance if anyone wants to jump in. Otherwise, um, you're very welcome to share some thoughts. Otherwise, perhaps we can wrap it up when everybody's ready with the three, two, one, go optimism or go optimism fractal. And also wish you all happy new year. Thanks everybody also <laughs> as well so much for all the amazing times over the past three months where it, I'm stoked that uh, that that uh, people are rallying around and enjoying it so much as I said before. So really wanted to express my appreciation and hope that everybody has a wonderful holidays too and very much looking forward to next year with y'all. Cheers. Cool. Thanks. Good holiday everyone. times, everyone. Happy New Year. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Happy holidays.
Bye, everyone. Happy holidays. All right, five, one, and three, two, one, go. Go optimism. Go optimism. 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 <laughs> All right. Thanks, everybody. See you. Thanks.